Hello, it is Britt again from Clumps of Mascara, and I have another mascara review to do today. And um, I'm also gonna do I'm gonna do kind of like a combination video, so it's gonna be the mascara I'm gonna review as well as we're gonna play around with a little bit of, with primers, mascara primers. RM Candlelight, who you are one of my biggest, biggest, I love you so much because you've always been so supportive of the videos I do, my posts, and I just love the love you give back to me, so this one's dedicated to you. Um, like I said, I'm going to play around with the primer to show you the differences that primers can make in your overall mascara application. So, the, the primer I'm going to use today is the Prescriptives Primer, and it's a little sample I got from when I purchased the beautiful, 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 I forgot the name of it, but I, I just like the bottle, that's why, I, I mean, the mascara sucks, but the bottle's just so damn pretty, y'all, I can't get rid of it, but, um, long, beyond long, this is what this is called, but I, when I purchased this, I got this for free, so, and normally, I don't really buy primers, I only use them when I get them for free. I think the only one I've ever purchased was Max Prep and Prime, which was which was okay. So the purpose of a primer is to it kind of it, it coats your lashes before you put on your mascara, and it's supposed to help separate them. And some of them even claim to you know help the, the staying power of your mascara. So, I mean, I I feel like I get sometimes when I use a mascara by itself, it's it's okay, but then when I use a primer, it's like it, it's a big difference. So. Um, if your mascara works for you well now, I wouldn't suggest getting one. I would only get one if you're trying to kind of get a better idea of what um, what the mascara can do. With the Maybelline Curl Power, it's a two-in-one. And this is, by the way, my favorite mascara ever to date. I love this mascara. Um, it comes with a primer already. It's like a step one and a step two. You see it on the bottle? One and two. Um, and so theirs is a little creamier than the traditional primers, but you would put this on first, and it's usually white, and then you go ahead and apply the regular mascara. So, and I love it. I mean, it works wonderful for me. But I do want to try. I think Shiseido has a has a has a um a mascara primer which is a gel. So I really want to try that. But for twenty plus dollars, it ain't gonna be anytime soon. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you the mascara for today. This is, my French is terrible. I'm a Spanish speaker, so I get really confused with my French, but Borjou? Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Borjou Petit. I was, and I was going to come up with, like, I was going to do a really cute title in French to y'all, but my French is terrible. Le mascara is Borjou Petit. <laughs> I'm terrible. But um, it's the mascara is it's a volume mascara, and it's waterproof, so it's not supposed to smear and smudge if if I get wet, if my eyes get wet or anything like that. Um, Fourteen fifty from Sephora. I I got this from Ulta when I was visiting family in Tampa, so you can get it from an Ulta. You can get it from uh, and of course online at Borjou.com. And uh, Borjou is a pretty cool line. It's fairly new, but they've got pretty cool stuff. This is the only product I've ever tried from them. So, um, for the most part, I'm impressed with it. The bottle's kind of cute and funky. Um, and of course, look at the brush. Look at the brush. Are you looking? Yes. If you know me, you know I love the smaller brushes because I get more control. So I love the fact that the brush is relatively small. Um, so let's go ahead and apply it so we can get an idea of what it looks like. I have a pimple right there, y'all. See? <laughs> I mean, who else is going to show you their pimples? I don't really care. It don't matter to me. So, um, I'm going to do one eye with a primer, and I'm going to do one eye without a primer so you can see the difference, if there is a difference. I mean, I, I notice a difference, but it may be hard to show on camera. So... The primers are usually white, and right away, I can see my lashes getting a little thicker. See that? Can you tell? See that? It's white, and of course it looks really weird, and that's the one that doesn't have anything on it yet. Okay. So this, like I said, this is a prescriptive primer. It's called a lash builder, a mascara base coat. 
So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. I'm sure you can probably get them a lot cheaper. I think I want to say Maybelline makes one, but I could be lying, so don't quote me on that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the mascara here. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. So this is a mascara. Wow. And I obviously I'm not doing this as good as I would normally do it because I have a mirror in my hand. But um it looks awesome. Can you tell? Compared to so that's the one with the primer. And then this is the one with just the mascara by itself. I really hope y'all can see otherwise it's gonna frustrate you. There. So let's see. Is it zooming in? This is the the um mascara with a primer. And this is a mascara without a primer. So I mean I can tell the difference. I could I, t I could tell immediately when it went right on that the one with the primer it adhered to the mascara a lot better and quicker than the one without primer. So and overall my opinion on this mascara it's a pretty good mascara. I mean look at that. Look at that volume that I'm I'm getting. It's insane. It's amazing. Y'all know what song I like? I like that song by Estelle. Take me on a trip, I wanna go somewhere. I love that song, it's stuck in my head. And she's so cute, so. That's random, but. And this is in second coat. And because I like boom, like really nice lashes, I gotta at least do two coats. So, uh-oh. So there we go. That is Bourjou Betty. Did that sound good? Was that a good accent? Bonjour, buddy. Bonjour, Petty. No, okay. Um, but it's a good mascara. And um, it's a little pricey, $14.50, like I said, but it's it's pretty decent for volume. I actually really like it. More so now, because this is only about the fifth time that I've tried it. And usually I gotta, you know, wear something for a week, but I'm liking it more now. Than I, than I did before, before I reviewed it for you guys. Like, I really like it now, so. I would give it a four. It's really, I've actually been running into some pretty good mascaras lately. I haven't had a bad experience. The last bad experience I had was, I know y'all gonna hate me, but, oh well. Yes, the Dior show was the last bad experience I had, and it was probably because of the hype, you know. But I'm gonna try it again one day. You know, one day I'm gonna try it again, so. That is that. If there are any other mascaras you want me to review, and I'm really trying to incorporate more, like, do more stuff than just mascara reviews, but I don't know what, because I feel like there's so many good makeup artists on YouTube, and I don't really want to, you know, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just, I don't feel so inclined to learn, to show y'all how to do it. I just don't really, I don't really want to. And I just think that there's so many people who can do it really well, and I don't want to, you know, so, but if there's anything you want me to review, talk about, or do, then on a newbie level for people who are new to makeup, I'm your girl. Okay? So, that's that.